Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we're remaking a video on what the heck are these? What the heck is this? Because you guys ask about them in so many of our videos. They are called casualty power cables or casualty battle cables uh, and casualty power cable terminals. They're also known as biscuits, I guess because of their size. Sometimes you'll see them painted in this tricolor arrangement. Sometimes they'll be like an all black Bakelite. And sometimes they'll have a canvas cover over them, uh, just, just keeping them covered and protected. Regardless, this is a waterproof 440 voltage power connection so that if you lose power in one part of the ship, you can bypass watertight bulkheads without having to open doors and things like that and essentially run an extension cord all the way to where you need the power. Power is made in the engine rooms below Broadway. We are just to the starboard side of the beginning of Broadway. So if say an engine room is knocked out and the things that it was powering then lose power or a power cable is severed somewhere between the engine room and that power, we can go to another engine room and we can run casualty power up through that engine room. Again, these biscuits are just uh, terminals in either side of a watertight bulkhead. Yeah, so for example, this one comes straight through the bulkhead. There's, there's one on each side of this door. This one you can see has the 440 power cable going up. This one has the cable going down. Notice it says that it's fed from forward diesel. Forward diesel generator is auxiliary power for the ship. So power cables are cut. The power is coming up through the deck, through watertight fitting there into this. So even if this space is flooding, the, these uh, outlets should still work and we don't have to wa open watertight doors to install them. So how do they work? Uh, 440 power is three phase on the battleship. So you've got three different terminals here. Now it's important that everything's wired up correctly. If you wire it backwards, the motors will spin backwards. Things won't work the way they're supposed to. So each one of these is a different color. There's black, red, and white. Well, what color are the biscuits? Black, red, and white. Real easy until you lose power. We did a video not too long ago, linked in the description below about emergency lighting. But even so, it's smoky in here because there's a fire or the battle lanterns never give you as much light as main lighting, you know, like, it's hard to plug this in. So each wire has a number of tabs on it. You see, this one has one tab. This one has three tabs. You guessed it, two tabs on white. Then you come over here to the terminal. Remember, black had one tab. You're feeling it. There is one notch cut on the black side, two down here, so that's white. And then you've got three on the red side. So you can feel what goes there. You need to run cable to different places. Notice each terminal has three plugs, so you can run three cables from each terminal. Next to each terminal are what we call biscuit wrenches. Uh, oftentimes, you'll see they're, they're painted in different colors. It doesn't really matter what color they are. And you'll see these in several different styles as well. Uh, some of them look more like screwdriver handles. The, these are kind of big and chunky. And there's a bunch of different types that were used throughout the ship's career. And so as the ship is decommissioned and recommissioned and they have to fill empty slots, you end up with a hodgepodge of these. Now it's simple. You plug your wire in here and then you use the biscuit wrench to crank down and tighten it in place. You do that for all three strands and now you've got power running to the next room. And that next room, presumably, somebody else is plugging in their cable and then this keeps going until you get to the space where you need. And oftentimes in the bottom of power boxes, there's a place to wire this into. And that's how you get power now to that fuse box or, or uh, electrical power distribution station that can then send it to lighting or equipment or whatever the case may be. So that demonstrates Another one of the redundancies that is available, not only on battleships, but even on modern Navy ships, uh, if you start to lose electrical power, you've got other ways of routing power. So 
Obviously, it's important on a warship to have backup systems like this. What sort of backup systems do you have at home? Do you have an emergency generator to kick on if you lose power? Or do you just keep a flashlight by the bed like I do? Let us know in the comments section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. Your donations keep the power running so we don't have to switch to emergency power, and we appreciate it. You can also support the museum by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.